O M G. The biggest PS5 news just dropped. have a giveaway if you subscribe $60 digital code PlayStation Xbox or Nintendo switch subscribe to this YouTube channel follow me on Twitter to get in the giveaway but let's get right into the news bro this is arguably the best the best news if you were looking for a PlayStation 5 pre-order console at launch big news just dropped previously it was reported that sony was originally just planning to launch to produce five at most six million ps5 units um uh, uh, um through their first fiscal year um 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 that was the previous number lower than even the playstation 4 the playstation 4 7 million units um, uh, during its launch window um, during the first year because Sony was citing the COVID-19 and they were afraid demand wouldn't be that great because of even the price point. Bro, breaking news. New reports from Bloomberg and Nikkei, two very reliable sources are saying Sony is doubling their PS5 production from 5 million to 10 million units even more than the PS4 bars even more units than the pl the PlayStation 4 sold over a hundred million units right now and it's still selling like crazy because Ghost of Tsushima about to drop in two days. I'm lit for that game. But 10 million units. This is coming from gamesradar.com and I'm gonna share my thoughts. Sony now aims to churn out 10 million units of the PS5 during its first year. They are citing a higher than expected demand for the PS5. They do their internal surveys. They feel, they know what's going on right now. And <coughs> they see the demand. They've convinced me to get this thing. If you look at, like I said before, if you look at the PS5 hardware reveal trailer, over 28 million views, and the PS5 event, I believe, was one of the most watched gaming events of all time. Sony knocked it out of the ballpark in their event, and they see the results of having games at the end of the day, it's gonna come down to games. This is why I'm hot for PS5, and this is why Sony has doubled their production to over 10 million units. Bro, they started the presentation. Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Yes, the game is controversial. Oh, is it just DLC? Um, it's going to be, the Insomniac already confirmed, it's going to be a standalone game. It may not be as long as the original Spider-Man on a PS4, but 
it's gonna be a dope game. Look at how dope they nailed um, just a um, swinging through the air with Spider-Man. They hit it at the ballpark with this as their first PS5 announcement. Um, coming holiday. This is gonna be a launch game. Spider-Man on PS4 sold good. It's gonna sell good, bro. Ratchet and Clank game was the game that sold me on Sony's um, SSD. How Ratchet, watch this, how he is able to just warp and a whole new different world appears just like that with different assets. I'm not just re talking about a different skin, different assets, enemies, environment, loading instantly. This game, we didn't, they didn't have to explain the SSD. We saw it in action right here. And so they had the Ratchet game. I'm um, Gran Turismo 7. It's been a minute since I bought a Gran Turismo game. This used to be my favorite racing series. And they showed gameplay. They showed gameplay and it looked dope. Arguably one of the best games shown. Horizon um, Westburn. West, Westward Bound, the second game, looked dope. Like I said, games, they had back one of the best gaming presentations ever. If you just look at the amount of big AAA games they announced, it's one of the best, bro. Just objectively speaking, it was one of the best. Best, it's, that's your opinion, but still objective. What, would, what do you get if you mix Zelda and Pikmin in one game. Keena, Bridge of the Spirits. Now, this is going to be a multi-plot game, but it still looked amazing, and it's going to um, look amazing on the PS5. Bro, another big... Sony's making... Sony's been quiet. And then they just hit you with the thunder, bro, with the hammer, bro. Bro, love or hate Fortnite, you cannot... Um, ignore <coughs> Sony's partnership with Epic going into the PS5 generation. They shelled out $250 million to buy a small stake in Epic Games. Something's going to come of this partnership. You don't just shell out $250 million for nothing to happen. And so I can't wait to see what happens if they get um, exclusive content? PS, it could vary because Fortnite is switching to PlayStation. I mean, not PlayStation. They're switching to Unreal Engine 5 for um, next generation. I believe they say in 2021. Sony could very well get the first beta, the beta for uh, Fortnite run, the new Fortnite. They've done it before. Um, when betas come out for new games, exclusive on Sony, Sony gets it like two weeks before everyone else. Something's gonna happen because of this deal. Bro, love it or hate it, my favorite game right now, NBA 2K21. It was revealed at the PS5 event. And not just revealed, but um, 2K sells the most on PlayStation, PlayStation 4 version sold the most. That's where most of the popular 2K YouTubers play on, on um, PlayStation. The comp is good. Big moves, it's smart moves. Demon Souls was shown. The new Little Big Planet game, a 3D for the first time was shown. Project Athia. This game hasn't been spoken too much. Made by Square Enix. It looks like it's a black female protagonist. When you um, pause it, when they glimpse at her face. This looks like, is this Final Fantasy 16? But this game looked amazing. Exclusive on PlayStation 5. Another big move. This um, Destruction All-Star games looked real dope. Astro Playrooms looked cool, like a cool spinoff. But... And another, they had indie games too. This one stood out to me of all the um, smaller games shown. The Devil Inside, that looks dope. Sony 
has knocked it out and they're coming off great momentum on the PS4. They did not allow their console to die off before coming with their new console. They're coming off of Last of Us 2, their best selling exclusive at the end of the PlayStation 4 and in two days Ghost of Tsushima about to drop. They've set great momentum for the PS5 and so 10 million units are now expected to launch um, to be available um, during the first year making it a lot easier to get a PS5 now does that mean oh I don't need to keep watching Obi-Wan and be ready because he's gonna let us know exactly when it goes live no you need to still have your notifications on for my channel you still need to be diligent my brothers and my sisters you still need to do what you need to do to make sure you cop that PlayStation 5 at pre-order because even though they double they're gonna double the production it still might sell out so it's gonna be lit bro bro I just realized that I'm going through my backlog on PS4 this video ended up longer than I expected controversial statement the PS4 could not just be Sony's best console ever but could go down in history as the best console ever when I was just thinking about all their AAA exclusives they had on this one system, plus all the great third-party games, this could be a video for another time. But it is very, very possible. And we're going to break it down. If y'all want that video, let me know. And I'll hit you guys with it. Comparing the PS4 to different consoles. Alright dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in the video? Sound off in the comment section below. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. We. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy become a sponsor three ways to join one subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later deuces